Yo ballers, this is Kicks Contest, I'm Lyocha Matras Fly White. And finally we got our hands on Anta GH3, which is Gordon Hayward's third signature sneaker with Anta. Just to remind you that the two previous models showed decent results in our tests and finished as one of the top performance in respective seasons. Let's see what Anta GH3 got in store. Let's go! As usual, we start with the comfort. The toe box is pretty roomy, so you'll be comfortable if you have wider feet. Those with a high arch got nothing to worry about as well. Just don't forget to undo these velcro straps here when you put the shoes on and you take them off. I'll talk about the straps later when I get to safety. Inside there's a nice amount of padding on the tongue and the upper is pretty flexible where necessary, which is good because you get this freedom of movement. You're gonna like it, especially if you're a guard. There's also a good amount of padding in the heel area and it's done in two segments. One is this fat blue color right here and the other being this lower part with a cat tongue surface for better lockdown. Keeps your heel in place and it doesn't slide up and down. When you put these on, there's no discomfort whatsoever. No rubbing, no pinching, the laces don't squeeze your foot. The GH3 run true to size, as my usual size 12 was right on the money. There's no time needed to break these in, so I went to play in them right out of the box. I mean, I wasn't in the box in the first place, I took the shoes out of the box and wore them to a game. You know, <laughs> breathability is definitely there as there are a couple of areas on the toe cap made with this net material. We saw these in Nike and Jordan models in 2021. Plus there are a couple of vents on the tongue, just like it was on the Nike GT runs. Whatever, the air circulation is there and it's pretty cool. Most of the midsole is made of Anta's own A-Flash Edge foam. They show it on the box and on the website it says that it's a lighter, stronger and more responsive compound that also lasts longer than the previous version. Okay, then we have a smaller piece of the Nitro Speed compound that's used in Anta KT7 midsole. But it feels much more like Boost here in the Anta GH3. It's softer, more responsive and the cord feel is really nice. If you press your finger here just a little bit, you can feel it with your foot. At the same time, this Nitro Speed pillow perfectly handles impact. Talking about a flash edge, it's a denser foam and it's mostly situated in the heel and midfoot area. And it gives you nice impact protection as well. I jumped a lot in these shoes, including a pro dunk contest and I did didn't have any discomfort when landing on different areas of the foot. The only issue is that the base foam layer will lose its bounce and responsiveness over time. Depending on how you use it, it could last at least for half a season or even more. The traction pattern is a herringbone on the central part of the forefoot and heel area. On the edge of the outsole there are multi-directional lines for lateral stops and moves. The outsole itself is kinda soft and squeaky, very squeaky. Check this out. Man, they just keep squeaking. They could do it forever, man. Me and my boy Mr. Cake played in the GH3 on five different courts, including very dusty ones, and the grip was excellent everywhere. So the traction on Anta GH3 gets an A+. Anta GH3 design is inspired by a retro vehicle, but not just by vehicle, by a 1967 Ford Mustang GT500. That's where these seat belts are coming from. This is an interesting feature and I'll get into it later in this video. But back to the materials. What's cool? Many interesting details, easter eggs related to Gordon Hayward and his career, iridescent logo here, his birthday, also check out this crazy shark fin. All in all, it's a well-rounded model with different 
different types of materials, but mostly synthetics. With all these, each shoe weighs an acceptable 486 grams or 17.1 ounces for size 12. What's not cool? The assembly quality is not as good as it should be in a star player's signature sneaker. Look at this thread sticking out here. In some places there are glue stains, but it's not that critical. Durability wise, there can be issues with the foam, but as I said, it should work just fine for at least half a season. It depends on how hard you use them. Also, the rubber on the outsole is pretty soft, so I wouldn't recommend to take these outside. There's not enough lockdown in the forefoot and the toe box is pretty roomy. There are no straps going down to the midsole or anything like that and therefore there's an issue with lateral containment in this part of the shoe. So if you're doing a quick lateral stop, your foot might slide inside the shoe once in a while. On the other hand, the heel lockdown is great due to a hard plastic heel cup. Just look at this shark fin here. Be careful not to kill anyone with it. Inside there's padding with that cat tongue liner that prevents your foot from sliding up and down. Okay now, so it's time to check out how these lateral velcro straps work. Okay, here, so here is this strap. It's actually two straps connected to one another, so you connect them like this, and it just pulls the other part. And this other part, it goes down inside, inside of the shoe. Let's see where it comes from. Okay, so here we are, and, uh, and we can see here that it's connected to the tongue, like this. There is this half booty, and then there's this strap that's connected to the tongue. So when you pull this strap, the tongue comes down and provides lockdown in the forefoot. So then I pull the tongue back up and it relaxes. Then I pull the straps again and, you know, the lockdown is there. So when you tie these two parts of the strap together and pull it tight, they just pull down the tongue and lock down the foot, which is great. And you also get some lateral lockdown due to these straps, which is also good. So it's a very interesting feature and uh, I haven't seen it on any other shoes. So if you have seen it anywhere, uh, just let me know in the comments. To be honest, these are not the huge difference maker, but they do give you some extra lockdown and you can't take the shoes off until you undo the straps. It's a nice feature and if you want to wear them casually, with the laces untied, just use the strap and you're good to go. Anyway, this gives you extra lateral support in lockdown, which is quite good, I gotta admit this. A big lateral outrigger adds to overall stability of the shoe and this plastic plate in the midsole prevents it from twisting, which makes it a pretty safe shoe overall. Anta GH3 get a total score of 89 points and claim the second place in this season's standings. Good news is that the line is progressing. Now it's not only about the functional side of the shoe, but there are also new design ideas which enhance performance. To be honest, the price has also gone up from 160 to 170, 180 dollars, but it's totally worth it. That's it for today's video, thanks for watching, hit that like button if you liked the video, subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed yet, that helps us a lot, and also subscribe to our Instagram where we post the teasers, the upcoming videos, sneaker news and basketball news. This was Kicks Contest, I'm Lyoha Matras Fly White, peace everyone, kushti subchik, pow!